Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a cheap versus expensive stadium experience. I am going to be going to the Sidemen charity match for a luxurious $10,000 VIP sideline experience. Whilst Noah is going to go to a basketball game in Australia with some not so good seats. Look at the view. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're coming out with bangers every single week. But let's get into the video. I'm going to fly to London. Let's go. the cheapest stadium experience. We're here at the NBL. It is Sydney Kings versus fuck who knows. I've got no, no idea. But I purchased the cheapest and the worst ticket in the stadium. So we're going to suss out how bad a stadium experience can possibly be. Currently, while well, I'm experiencing the worst stadium experience, Nick is overseas and is at the Sidemen charity match enjoying the best stadium experience with full access to the whole stadium. Why do I have to do the worst one? This is so unfair. I don't get it. Why do I get the worst experience? Hey, buddy. Alright, let's go in, let's go. Whilst Noah is about to walk into Kudos Bank Arena, it's time for me to explore London Stadium, the home of West Ham. But I didn't bring my camera at first, so now I'm going to go back to the hotel in the city to get my camera and then come all the way back. Alright, I'm going back to the city. I've left the stadium because I didn't bring my camera, but I realised I can definitely bring it, so I'm going to head back to the city and then come back before the game. I, reckon I, can do it. I have never run for trains so fast in my entire life, but I made it back to the stadium with three minutes till kickoff. Three minutes. This footage was recorded at 2.57. The game was to start at three. Oh, mate, how good am I? I'm too good. We made it back. Bro, I feel like I'm inside 2K, like NBA 2K in the game. I need to find the seats, but I don't even know where the seats are. Level three, door 84, section 84. Why are so many numbers, bro? Door 84. Oh, going all the way to the top. Apparently the worst seat, but I reckon it's going to be the best seat. I reckon we've got the box. Fuck, we're actually going up high, you know? I reckon it's going to be a cracker seat. All right, door 84. <laughs> Mate, even got red curtains, and you're telling me worst seat. Get fucked. I feel like this is going to be like original over again. Section 84-2, seat 737. Sorry, man. Row O. Get a load of this guy, folks. Look at him walking to the back row of Kudos Bank Arena to watch a game of basketball. Now, look at me, mate. We're running. We're going through the back rooms. Craig Mitch is right in front of me, the guy who does all the kick game videos. And we are going into the exclusive VIP box. Look at this, mate. There's food there. Oh, waiters, mate, fully dressed up. Look, they've got fucking gold plates and everything. That's not edited at all. Yeah, look at this. The atmosphere at this moment right here was unreal. I could not actually believe that I was there. <laughs> Let's have a look at how Noah's atmosphere is gone. <laughs> Bro, what is this? They look like eggs. <laughs> I can't even tell who's who. I was gonna lie. I thought it would be like, you can't see anything. I can see everything. <laughs> it's very far away. They're fucking giants. I thought I was tall. These cuts are like seven foot tall, like on average. To make things interesting, because every single person here is supporting the Sydney Kings, obviously, because we're in Sydney. I'm going to put a little bit of money on the other team so that if they win, I'm just going to go ham. Like, I'm just going to fucking roast everyone here. 12 seconds later. All right, so basically, because it's about to start, we can't even place a bet. But I'm still going to go for our team. <laughs> Fuck the Sydney Kings. <laughs> Maybe part of the worst stadium experience is me getting bashed for, for going for the other team. I reckon i got to add to it. I don't think it's a shit enough. I reckon i got to make a shitter for myself. Not afraid, not afraid. Take the stage, take the stage, everybody. Up the jumpers! What are they, the jumping jacks? Up the jumping jacks! Oh! Up the jumping jacks! Opening 30 seconds of the game, Theo Baker went off and he, well, he, he certainly went off later on in the game as well, I can tell you that much. 
But after that, I was like, all right, let's go down to the sideline now. I spoke to Craig Mitch. Big up, Craig. You're a legend, mate. I made it down to the sideline just in time for Ethan's goal. And this was, oh, this was fucking unreal. The atmosphere was just nuts. <laughs> I've got to work out how the fuck this game works. I don't watch basketball. And I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely thought I was gonna be the only one here. Who the fuck chooses to come to watch this shit on a Sunday afternoon? What do you mean they scored already? Yeah, up the jumping jacks. Fucking hell. You know what, I'm already pretty entertained. This is better than like watching on TV straight out. This is actually a good view. I'm not even gonna lie, like, we just can't do anything right, eh? We try our best to do the worst, but we just end up doing the best. Wow, what a pass. Oh, yeah, the boys. Oh yeah, fuck. I was just going for like anyone. Uh, shoot, come on, shoot and score. One step, two step, right hook, in and out, up, uppercut. Fucking knocked out on the canvas, mate. Beautiful. Yeah! Come on, mate, get him. Come on, right hook smash. Yeah, the boys. What a dunk! Come on, you fucking sexy cunt. This is when Theo Baker went off. I, 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 I did warn you. I, I told you he goes off. <laughs> Come on, Jackies! I swear basketball is like a game of ping pong. Like if you're watching it from afar, it's just like, you know that game where you fucking you hit the ball and it goes fucking bounces from side to side and you gotta try and get it in the hole? Like I swear that's what basketball is when you're looking at it from like this far away. I thought it actually looked like ants, but they, they're more, they look like cockroaches. They're far away, but they're so fucking big that you can still like see and know what they are. Oh, you wish, mate. You fucking wish. Like you're probably from wish.com. Oh, fence. Oh, fence. Oh, mate, look at those techies. <laughs> look at them go. Oh. Why are they lining up like they're waiting for, to get in the class? Like, yeah, you're shit. You're fucking shit. <laughs> Who are the other team? I don't, where are they from? You know? Tasmania. Oh, I don't know if I want to vote, go for them, to be honest. That, that, I think I just changed the whole directory of the video. Tasmania. Bro, they're all probably cousins. But I had no idea it was actually a fan base for the NBA. You don't understand? I'm so shocked right now. This is mad. I feel like I'm in America. I only see this shit, like, in America. They say worse seats in the stadium, but do any of the other teams have a fucking leg rest? I don't think so. I mean, it is affecting my view. I can't really see anything to my fucking big feet, but. Comfortability, seven out of 10. Functionality, they go up and down pretty well, I must say. Armrest. Whilst Noah's reviewing his below average seats in the back row of Kudos Bank Arena, we were sidelined at West Ham's London Stadium with, look at these luxury seats, mate. Look at the cushioning and the, the logo, mate. The cushioning on the pop, top tier, mate. <laughs> Some of the best seats I've ever sat in in my life. Top tip. Boom! Wait, why are we doing? Yeah! So. Up the bodies! I feel like I'm just pissing everyone off. Maybe I'm making the worst experience for everyone else. Yeah! People are forgetting wow. pissed off. I ain't gonna lie. Every time I cheer, every kid just stares at me. I'm 100% the only one going for the jumping jacks right now. I haven't seen Sydney score in about a solid like two minutes. Yeah, I'm pissing everyone. I'm just, every time I open my mouth or make sounds, everyone's just looking at me. Something just looks off about basketball. The way they move is just so like, I feel like it's more like a dance routine. You know what I want to know? I want to know the names of these players. What are they actually called? The Jack Jumpers. Why are they wearing different jerseys? Clint Steindl. I think that's him. That's Clint. That's my boy Clint. Yeah, the focus. Oh, yeah. yeah, the focus. That's my boy Clint on the left. They all look very similar. Oh, is that Andrew Tate? Oh, it's top G. Bro, Sydney Kings are shit. They can't score. No way. They have fucking cleaners. So tennis have ball boys. Basketball has cleaner boys. Oh, only 50 seconds left. Last minute. I'm gonna go to bedside. All I'm gonna hear is defense. Shut up. 
It's half time now at the Sidemen charity match and H is about to come out for his half time performance. It was actually very sick to watch H perform at halftime. Great entertainment there here at London Stadium. Uh, no, let's have a look at uh, how your halftime entertainment's gone. Who have you got performing for you? Whoa, look at the guy. Whoa. Oh, I keep jumping in that. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. It's halftime, finally. I'm all out of my head. We're gonna go explore the stadium to see what we have access to with these $20 tickets. So, let's go. I am hungry. You know what? It's about a stadium experience. So I reckon the pricing of the food adds to the experience. You know what I mean? Is this sauce in there? Thank you. Bro, this shit was $10. For stale fries. Is that a joke? I'm not gonna lie. They're probably the worst chips I've ever had in my whole life. Like, out of anyone who's ever eaten fries, and I've eaten fries everywhere, those are the worst and probably the most expensive. Bro, these chips cost half of the ticket. To put it in perspective, ticket's 20 bucks. These chips were half of that. Mate, 10 out of 10 fucking eating experience, let me tell you. Stale chips that cost half of the ticket to get in here. Second half, started like five minutes ago, but I couldn't be fucked going back. Now it's time for Speed to come on for his penalty shot. Now, straight away, I'm like, right, I've got to get up from my seat. Look at me, mate. I'm off, I'm off. I'm like, right, I'm going to get down to the corner because if he fucking bags this, they're all going to run to the corner and I am going to get the best fucking photo of every photographer in the stadium. The crowd was set and ready to go. Even Nico had come all the way down from the bench to wish me luck in getting the best photo when he scores. Honestly, I don't really know what was going on here. JJ's landing just as many punches as Tommy Fury did in their fight, but it was time for Speed to hit this penalty so I could get a banger fucking photo. All that for him to fucking hit the worst penalty I've ever seen in a game of football. <laughs> Nonetheless, it was all very entertaining and very enjoyable. Uh, let's, ha let's have a look at how Noah's entertainment's going. How how's the basketball going, buddy? Uh, I, uh, this has been the shittest state of the series ever, mate. Is it nearly over? Oh. What is going on? Too easy, bro. We're too good. Then Max Fosh went over and grabbed someone's beer, had a sip, barely had any of it. He had a fucking sip, fucking bitch. And now I went over, started filming it, gave us a nod. Yeah, great nod, mate. Yeah, great nod. He knew he was in the presence of greatness. He knew one of Australia's biggest YouTubers was right there filming him. He fucking knew. That's what that nod meant. I'm back, I'm back! <laughs> yes, it's working! Oh my god, keep on doing that, please! Then it was time for Harry's goal, the first time Harry has ever scored in a charity match. And then get a load of this. Look, Toby throws the ball in and it hits Vic. Yeah, that's Vic. It hits Vic on the chest. And the ball comes straight to me. And I pick the ball up with my... Mate, I basically played in the sideband charity. Mate, really? Then as soon as I touched the ball, they called full time because they knew I just couldn't be playing. I'm just that good. They knew I just couldn't be a part of the game. So they called full time and they called it all off. <laughs> Mr. Beast walks right past me. Jeez, big up Jimmy, mate. Give me some fucking money. Did you hear that breath he took? Get a listen to that again. Yeah. 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 Oh. 
That's it, boys. Fuck, that was so shit. That was so shit. It was straight up. The boys went off the field for a bit as there were some intruders on the pitch, but then it was time for them to come back out for the trophy presentation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Captain, that's it for my stand. Oh, oh, the That wraps up the Sidemen charity match experience. Let's cut to Noah now and see how he found his experience at the NBL. Ah, <laughs> uh, so that was the shittest stadium experience. In true honesty, like, the worst experience is not that bad. Like, you're at the back, but you can still see everything. Fuck you, Nick. I don't know why you get to have the best, but this is what it is. This is crazy, look at that. I can see almost everything. Mate, I think these are the worst fucking seats. The best seats would just be ones that are legit courts like. <coughs> court. <coughs> 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 Thank you. Fucking no chance, lad. Alright, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs>